Hello, this is Oli Meyer, and this is a beginner's guide for Fontra. Let's create our very first variable font. Um, open Fontra pack and then create a new font. Save it in a location where you want. Call it for, We call it beginners and we use the Fontra format. Save this. It opens this file here. The first thing we do is we go to the font info, give it a name, beginners, for example, or whatever name you prefer. Then we want to create a verbal font with one axis. So we go to axis, create a new axis. In this case, we want to have a weight axis, which is already the default, but you can also select different ones. Create this and the settings are perfect for our uh, demo demonstration here. We have 100, 400, 900. Our default is 400. Um, make sure to change these values if you want uh, to have a different setup. We skip cross-axis mapping and go to sources. Here we have our very first source, which is there already, the regular at 400. Now we create uh, another one thin at the location 100 and black at the location 900. So this is our setup. We have three sources, regular, thin and black and one axis, which is our weight axis. So now we can go to the font overview and select the character we want to draw first. In our case, we want to draw uh, the character A. Double click and again, double click create to create this. Our default location or source is regular. So this is selected already at 400. Now we can draw our A character and uh, let's see, this works perfectly. Here, the baseline is not 100%, so we move this here, uh, select this shape, uh, and we skew this. That looks good. Copy, paste it, and then flip. We can now uh, move it over there. <clears throat> This looks good. Um, oh, we see already that the control direction is not right. By the way, with space, we get to this view and then we can uh, view it and move it. So we select this and reverse control direction and now this looks good. Add a bar at a good position and this might be a little bit less down. This looks good. So the side bearings are not right. Go to the side bearings, let's say 20 and 20. And now we have our very first A shape on the regular source. Um, now we can double click on thin and it creates a new source with the default shape. And here we want to make the shape less thick and the same on this side. So something like this and the bar as well. Uh, maybe this way, a little less. Okay, this looks good. Um, the side bearings uh, can be equal. And now we create our black, double click, it creates it and also mm, adjust this shape. Let, more and also don't forget the bar uh, maybe too much something like this and now also the side bearings probably to zero and now we have our very first a character now we need to go back to uh, axes um, and set up some axis values. The axis values are is a list of styles. So in this case, we have thin at the position 100 and we, ha we want to add regular, uh, regular at position 400. And we know that we want to link regular to bold and this is 700 and we set this checkbox because we know that we don't want to display regular in the name. Then um, bold, for example, at 700, this is the link and black to 900 and probably let's add a medium also, uh, a medium style at 500. Let's view the medium. Um, so 500 is the medium. 
and 700 is bold. Oh, the bold could be bolder. So let's say probably uh, 750 looks good, right? So better than before. So we can go back to our axes and do a different mapping and not linear mapping. So, but first we need to add the defaults. So 100 at 100, and then we have 400 for 400, um, and also the 900, the black to 900. But we want to have a different mapping for medium. And medium is, we, we set, uh, no, black, it was black, sorry, uh, bold. Um, so bold, and we said that the source is 750, and it should be mapped to 700. So we have a slight different, uh, not linear interpolation here. And so this is then the mapping for this style here. And that's it. So now we can export a file, um, either an OTF or TTF, um, export this and now we have here our very first variable font. And to demonstrate this, we can open it here. Install, I have already one, so replace, replace this. Um, and now there's our beginners. And we see we have thin, regular, medium, bold, and black, all, all our uh, styles we have set. And uh, we see it here. So it only has A, so nothing is shown here. So let's go to a better view from example, Dynamo. And here we can, we can drop this here. And here as an example, we see our A with the full interpolation. And that's the very first verb font you have created. Uh, here are our styles. Great, right? So have fun, take care.